Hello, I hope you've been enjoying all the work that we've been doing with numbers. I love numbers because they help us to count things. When you have lots of things, they can come in very handy. In this lesson, we'll be learning how to count lots of things by grouping them. So here we've got a group of 10 pencils and 3 more pencils. What's the best way to count these pencils? We might need a table to help us. So if we make a table, then we could have a tens column and a units column. We have one group of 10 pencils and 3 units. Units represent ones. It means we are counting in ones. 1 10 and 3 units make 13. Let's use arrow cards to represent 13. We will need 1 10 and 3 units. Here we have 2 groups of 10 pencils and 1 unit pencil. 2 10s and 1 unit make 21. Let's use arrow cards to represent 21. We will need 2 tens and 1 unit. Can you tell me what this number will be? Well done! 3 tens and 5 units make 35. Can you use arrow cards to represent 35? You will need 3 tens and 5 units, 35. Well done! You've learnt a lot about tens and units in a two-digit number. Go and have some fun now practicing tens and units. Bye-bye!